Now I'm sure when many of you saw this recently with the new Dawn trailer from 3 vs 3, you're like, oh my god, this is confirming that Halo CE remake in Unreal Engine 5. This is literally Combat Evolved Master Chief in Unreal Engine 5. So this is happening, right? Well, I wouldn't say yes to that, actually. I'm a little apprehensive right now because the main thing about this Master Chief that uh, I need to point out to you guys is that this looks very familiar to a Master Chief that we actually can play around with right now. And that's a Master Chief in Halo Infinite. But you know, you don't believe me? Check this out right here. Make sure if you guys want to check out more of this content, like, subscribe. We're going to be doing all this deep dive stuff into the, all the new Halo news because it is mind blowing what's happening right now with Halo. So I hope you guys subscribe. Let's get right into it though. Okay, so look at this Master Chief armor. So you're like, okay, this is just combat of old Master Chief, right? But the thing is about this, it looks extremely similar to this Master Chief that we have in Halo Infinite. Just they removed the belt essentially and then they added a, a 117 right there. Maybe change like the way the texturing is on the armor. But if you can see like this is effectively the exact same model that they use for this uh, revealed demo, uh, whatever you want to refer to as tech demo. But I think what they ended up doing was actually taking this Mass Chief right here, importing it into Unreal Engine 5. And that's what you got right here, which would make a lot of sense because this looked very similar to what I've seen previously. Same thing with the pillars as well. Uh, when it came to showcasing like the uh, the Forerunner towers, right, that we saw, those are basically just asset rips straight out of it, Halo Infinite, which I mean, would make a lot of sense, right? Because, well, it's already built and it looks fantastic. So why would you spend the time to completely remake one of these towers when you can just kind of just grab an asset and then just import it in. Obviously, there would be some work needed when it comes to being able to, you know, uh, make sure it fits in properly. It looks good and stuff like that. But uh, I recently found this out here on the interwebs here. Uh, was it Matt uh, Sarasoli, if I pronounce that correctly, posted this up on his uh, art station and just kind of showcasing some of the work he did in Halo Infinite. If we scroll down a bit right over here, you can see this is the Forerunner Tower, and it looks almost identically, if not, I, I'm just, I mean, just going to straight up say it, it's the same model for this Forerunner Tower that we see over in the uh, trailer right here as well. So I think that's a really important thing to point out that I don't really think they really made new assets in this game. Even with like the uh, CE pistol that we saw, the M6D, right, for, for, if that's how I could call it, I have a very strong feeling this was cut content from Halo Infinite that was meant to be put into the game eventually, but just never made its way in. I mean, with the classic CE assault rifle in Halo Infinite, why wouldn't they do the Magnum? That's one of the most iconic weapons in Halo history. you think they would do that as well. So I'm pretty sure all the assets that we see within this reveal trailer are actually just Halo Infinite assets imported into Unreal Engine 5 to then give you the vibes that they want to try to capture, right? Like you can even see with the elites that they do show a little bit right here. You can see like this elite ray right by here. Oh, we actually went a little too far. Uh, but this elite right here, you can actually get some pretty decent good detail out of them right there. You can kind of tell like it's the exact actually the Halo Infinite Elite that they used inside this trailer. It's it's the exact same model. I've seen this model a million times. Trust me, it's the Halo Infinite version of an elite. Probably the same thing with this energy sword as well. I mean, it has way more effects to it. It's probably one of those benefits you can do with Unreal Engine 5. And so the big thing I wanted to point out is, you remember that big leak and rumors that we heard you know, a few months back saying there's going to be a Halo CE remake in Unreal Engine 5, right? Uh, Tom Warren uh, of The Verge tweeted this out, kind of doing a, what he called it, a, um, a, a notepad issue, kind of a quick little blurb out there saying that they're looking to do Project Latitude with Halo franchise, bring it over to PlayStation and most likely Nintendo as well. But it also mentions that there's going to be a Halo CE remake within this article made in Unreal Engine 5. Now, now we think about this though, to the untrained eye, right? If you probably think about like the way leaks kind of work within the industry, right? That if you do get a leak, most likely it's probably just like, as screenshots I got shared to you, like, hey, this is what I've seen right now, and then you can kind of run with your own narrative on that. Why would you not think they're making a Halo Combat of all the anniversary, uh, a 2.0 in 
in Unreal Engine 5 when you see screenshots like this, right? Or see uh, video clips like this, right? You go like, well, out of context, they're making, you know, Halo Studios now are making a Halo CE remake. I don't really necessarily know if that's actually happening with the studio. Now, personally, I think it'd be awesome because I just love Combat Evolved. I do feel like it would be a little redundant, though, to go back in and make another uh, remaster of Combat Evolved. Though, I think we all can agree that the Halo CE anniversary that we got back in 2011 didn't really feel like a true remastering or true uh, recreation. It felt like it kind of took its own liberties and didn't really feel like it captured the same kind of tones and vibes and sound effects and basically a lot of things that were very different. It just like minor, minor things that all just kind of added up to something that just didn't really feel quite right when it came to it. So it feels like there always need to be something like a more true version of a Combat Evolved remake, which they could definitely still do that. I think also doing a remake in CE would be a great way to kind of flex the muscles a little bit, get some more practice under your belt when it comes to utilizing the Unreal Engine to make a Halo game where you have a blueprint of like just make Combat Evolved and you, you know people are going to love it, which would make a lot of sense, right? Because all the work's already done. You just gotta be able to just do it, right? You don't need to worry about like, is this the right choice for Halo? You just need to go out and do it. That's why we've seen so many map remakes in the multiplayer right now for Halo Infinite because they know these maps work. They're awesome, people love them. We just not waste time when it comes to deliberating like, is this weapon the right choice for Halo or something like that? They can just jump in and start making it. So that's definitely one aspect you need to take into consideration when it comes to if a CE remake is coming to uh, Halo, right? For Halo CE Remake 2.0, if you want to call it that. But I do feel like that leak, while they were probably believed themselves to be correct, I think that's kind of the nature of leaks, right? Because if you just saw this, like I said, you would think, oh my God, Halo CE 2.0 remake, it's happening, right? You see classic Master Chief from CE in Unreal Engine with holding that class of Magnum that we haven't truly had since, well, ever. Well, since like Halo 3, right? I mean, or Halo uh, Reach, I should say. It wasn't Halo 5, but it was kind of more of a power weapon kind of thing. It was more of a gimmick. This is like the actual like M6D, if I remember correctly. Uh, and so that's one thing where I don't necessarily believe if we are getting a full on remaster remake of CE, though I do feel like it would be a little redundant as well, just because it's like, well, we've already got that, man. We don't need to go over this again. You know, I want something new, something fresh to do in Halo, right? I'm so tired of res relying on nostalgia. One thing I was talking about with some content creators over at HCS uh, Seattle over the weekend as well, that they could do one a different approach that Call of Duty did with great success. And that was a uh, reimagining of what the uh, story of CE is. If you guys don't know, Modern for 2018, what they did is basically recreated the story of Call of Duty 4, but kind of remixed some elements to make it much, you know, so they're not just retelling the same story, but all hit the similar beats, had the same characters, and just kind of like retold the story in a different way. And I thought it would landed perfectly. I love that campaign. It actually might even be my favorite Call of Duty campaign. And so could they do something similar like that with Halo? I would be really apprehensive of that because that would also create a hard reset, not only with the franchise that we're seeing right here, with, with the back end of uh, with how Halo Studios now, not 343 Halo Studios, are putting things together, how they're working and making Halo, brand new engine, but it also would just completely reset the game and the, the lore of the whole situation as well, like negating all the books, comic books, previous games, and things like that. So. That would be something I would not like to see happen if you're gonna do like a retelling of Combat Evolved, right? That, you know, you can't just like, just like take away all these cherished memories that, you know, people have. Like I said, nostalgia is the biggest thing keeping Halo active right now. Everyone knows about it because they remember what, how much fun they had with Halo back when they were teenagers or whatever from like the Bungie days, most likely. Uh, and so like, you would basically kind of be negating all those core feelings and memories that you had which would not be the right way to go about doing it, clearly. Though we've had a similar kind of situation over with Disney when they bought Star Wars, where the, what they did is that they made sure that all the movies were canon, right? That's lore to Star Wars. Hard set, canon, that's not changing. But what they did do is they took all the external media, 
some of the smaller shows or like comic books, actual books and things like that, what they ended up doing is kind of, I think they call it like legacy lore or something like that. They basically just detached it from the core canon experience and made it so then like they can tell their own external lore stories without worrying about like overlapping issues or like continuity issues and things like that, which is something they could definitely pull off, which I think would be a great way to do this project latitude like we talked about earlier in the video here with Tom Warren. I think there is something there when it comes to maybe retelling the story of CE where you maybe do it in a slightly different way, hit all the same major beats, but maybe like do it in reverse or I don't know, there's a lot of, that's where it comes down to creative uh, choices where you just have to make when it comes to doing something like that. I would be interested with it because I do feel like a CE remake, while it would look amazing and I definitely would play it, it would feel a bit redundant. And also when it comes to remakes and remasters, People get hyped about it, they'll play for the nostalgia and they'll kind of just hop off and do whatever afterwards. And you want to make sure that, you know, people who are playing Halo, if possibly on, on PlayStation, you want them to start with CE as well and get like that true experience that Bucks, Xbox and PC players have been experiencing for the last 23 years now at this point. So there's many different ways you can go about doing it. So did this uh, New Dawn uh, trailer reveal showcase that oh my god halo ce remake and unreal engine 5 confirmed i don't believe it yet i do feel like these were really just it was really just infinite assets ported into the unreal engine to be posed to just look like something that you would most likely get the vibe checks and people would get hyped about it right like this is what this trailer did a great job of just you know renewing hope for halo again we're hitting a lot of similar beats that like infinite was when that first launched right so it's gonna be kind of interesting to see how Three goes about really making uh, the next Halo project. They have multiple projects in the works as well. So uh, multiple titles. They specifically said titles. And I think also mentioned even games. So it's not just one Halo game we're looking forward to, like Halo Infinite 2.0. We have multiple games in the works that come in for us to engage with. And, you know, that's one thing I actually I talked with the community director sketch at the Halo event uh, over the weekend, and I asked him like. What is one thing you think three? What's the one thing that you feel like Halo needs the most of? And he straight up told me, more, more Halo is what we need. More things to engage with, and yeah, maybe he was giving us a nice little hint before the big reveal at the HCS this weekend. But I, you know, would totally agree with like we just need more Halo. But guys, if you enjoyed this type of videos, make sure to tap like and subscribe. If you made it this far in the video, I greatly appreciate. It. Make sure to leave a green heart in the comments to let me know who the real ones are out there. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.